Kodokan Judo recognizes 67 Nagewaza throwing techniques. Each throw, if executed properly, leads to an Ippon. Uchimata involves sweeping the opponent's inner thigh from within. Osotogari involves clipping the opponent's leg from the side. In Tomoe Nage, you drop backwards to throw your opponent over your head. Seoye Nage is breaking an opponent's balance toward you, loading him onto your back and throwing him over your shoulder. That's what Nicholas is about to learn. No, no, no. Not like that. Look. Watch carefully. You're coming in and trying to lift him with your hips. You should use your entire body to load him onto your back. Use your entire body. I see. If you only use your hips, you're forcing it. So, your body is bent. So go ahead. Throw him. Go on. <laughs> You're too respectful. <laughs> I felt kind of bad for him. Oh, don't worry. You have to get the feel of it. Yes. Yeah, that's it. You're getting it. Okay, good. <laughs> You've got a knack for it. Practice is important, but the best way to understand the importance of Ippon is through an actual encounter. So Nicholas is going to take on some of the students. Nicholas is 180 centimeters tall and weighs 105 kilograms. His opponent is 172 centimeters and 73 kilograms. Is this a fair fight? Nicholas is hesitant. He uses his larger build to pull his opponent toward him, but his actions leave him exposed. His opponent pulls Nicholas's sleeve and upsets his balance in front with one foot off the ground. Nicholas can't recover and finds himself flat on his back. Victim of a brilliant epon. Sensei, so first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for the. It was a great, wonderful experience for me. It was first time to try judo, so it was. Uh, it's like a whole new world. I have one question for you. Where did I go wrong when I was fighting in there? Well, first of all, what you needed the most was the will to fight. 
So it wasn't a matter of being good or bad at judo. You lacked spirit and were reluctant to apply a technique. And where is the Japanese judo heading towards now? What kind of goals are they looking for? Oh, aiming for an Ippon victory will continue to be the goal. Why is the Ippon so important to the Japanese judoka? Judo developed out of Jujutsu, a martial art that involved killing to save one's life. Yes, of course. So the execution of a throw had to be effective enough to kill an opponent. That's what an Ippon is. But Japanese judo also should be graceful, with beautiful throws. And that's also what we're striving for. Thank you very much for today. I really learned a lot. Well, come back and try it again. Yes, thank you. The origins of judo lie in samurai combat techniques used to defeat actual enemies. These techniques were eventually systematized into jujutsu. The purpose of jujutsu wasn't to win a game. It was to kill someone who wanted to kill you or be killed. That kind of choice focused the mind and underscores the quest for Ippon today. Kano Jiguro took the techniques of jujutsu practiced on the battlefield and in 1882 created judo, a martial art infused with spiritual training. He prohibited the use of dangerous thrusts and kicks. But he also stressed the importance of doing one's best to execute a clean throw to win by Ippon. In those days, the rules were simple. The first to score an Ippon won the match. Kano toured the world to promote judo. He was only 158 centimeters tall, but he was able to throw hefty westerners with ease, much to the amazement of those who watched. Judo was regarded as a mysterious oriental art, but it didn't take much time at all to spread throughout the world. Today, the International Judo Federation has a membership of 199 countries and regions. More than eight million people across the globe are sent to practice judo. In 1964, it became an Olympic event. Worldwide popularity, however, brought changes. Instead of going for an Ippon, which demands superior technique, many modern competitors are content to score as many points as possible to win by Yusei Gachi. Judo in Europe and other parts of the world is all about winning, regardless of how you win. Oh, I want to become a machine that's capable of defeating Japanese judoka. Just kidding. But seriously speaking, um, I want to win. It doesn't have to be an Ippon. Even minor points add up. The basis of traditional Japanese judo is creating a space by grabbing hold of an opponent's collar and sleeve. This distance is essential in order to apply techniques such as seo inage and execute a clean throw, an ippon. Here is what a match looks like when a contestant is aiming to score points rather than achieve an ippon. The European contestant in white is muscling around his opponent in blue. He attempts to apply a throw from an impossible position in order to score a point. White wraps his arm around Blue's back to draw him near. Blue tries to apply a seo inage to score an ippon. But his attempt fails because of a lack of space. Blue is pushed to the floor, enabling White to score a wazahari. After getting the point, White is content to defend himself and doesn't go out of his way to try to score an ippon. It's judo but a very different version.
You just have two very large people push each other around the mat. And that's not what judo is all about. Chuck Wilson is an American who's been practicing judo for half a century. He came to Japan to study judo and ended up staying. The Japanese way has won him over. So he doesn't like what he sees in matches in which winning by any means is considered good enough. 